my biggest fear would be to live a life where I ended up with a lot of regrets. I think the concept of having a lot of regrets is what pushed me to become who I am now. My parents' background was what we would call traditional. It was the idea that girls should be quiet and well-mannered and well-behaved and anything they do shouldn't bring shame to the family. You go to school, you get good marks, and then you're at home doing your chores, doing your homework. All of those things formed a belief system that controlled what we were allowed to do and that limited my freedom. If you wanted to do anything different, you had to ask for permission. But it was, to me, not something that I would even dare to ask permission to do. I just wanted to avoid the anger and the worry and the yelling. So it was kind of an unsaid oppression. Over the years, as I gained independence from my family, I liked knowing that I had choices and I was leading myself in the directions that I wanted to be in. I realized that for my personal well-being, being in control of my life was really important to me. gives me a real deep sense of freedom. You almost always feel like you're gliding. You don't even think about your body, your hands, your arms, the blade, the boat, and the water as separate entities. It has to work in harmony with each other to continue that smooth forward momentum. To be able to interact with the water at that scale, it really feels independent and relaxing in many ways for me. When I got the call from the doctor, hearing it out loud was completely jarring. And I couldn't really think about anything other than the fact that it was, yes, I have cancer. That's all I could think about. When I was suffering through the treatment, the meds had me in bed for days on end, and I was miserable and achy and sore. I couldn't be in any kind of water that might reinfect me. It's a freedom that I really took for granted. Even now, it's a struggle. I'm not fully recovered. I do get frustrated because I try to push my body to do what it used to do, and it doesn't work. And sometimes I cry, and sometimes I'm angry. You know, when you're diagnosed, you're not sure what that means. And that made me really think about my life. And I realized then that I didn't have that feeling of, I have to get these things done before I die. Because I did feel like I had done a lot. I've always appreciated having opportunities to have these unique experiences. As I'm recovering each new experience, 
Each one is different. Each trip is different. Each sunset is different. Every sunrise is different. Every new thing is celebrated. Every additional day and moment and experience is to be celebrated. isn't a lot in my life that I'd want to change. For the most part, I'm a pretty happy person. I just want to do more of what I've had chances to do.